back in 2007, we thought about, let's create a new game for inner games and do something which is different to our first game, Tribal Wars. In the West, we wanted to have, uh, we wanted to have an RPG, but with a lot of multiplayer features in it, like the cities, and you can see players on the map. And we like West watching Western movies, so one of the ideas was then, let's create a game in a Wild West setting. I had no experience at all with the genre Western. The West actually introduced me to the genre. Ten years ago, oh my god, that's so long ago, I barely remember that time. At Inno Games, there were not that many employees. We were like a handful of people. I remember that uh, I translated the West to the Polish version, which was also a huge challenge for me. Um, I learned about uh, that there is a huge diversity of weapons and um, the vocabulary was new. I had to Google and also uh, learn a lot about Wild West. The very first thing I did on the West was, of course, checking what, the, what praying in the church means. But I signed the NDA, so I'm not allowed to discuss it. When we launched the game, the player reactions were very strong. So more and more players joined and gave us also very good feedback. And then it was becoming clear for us, yes, the West will be a successful game. The initial version was quite limited. Um, we had a quest system, we had, of course, the world map and the city building elements, but we added a lot of different features over the time. Uh, one of the biggest and nicest things I still remember was when uh, we had the first International Four Battle Championship. Magda originally did that on uh, her Polish version and then later pitched that to become an international thing. When I started with the Polish community, I want them to be more active. Then I started with the events like the Fort Battle Polish Championship. And uh, after all, I saw that our, our players uh, really like it. And then I asked uh, the lead community managers to create something like this, like this for everyone. And uh, yeah, we ran that and was quite successful. And we even had players stream it on Twitch.tv. And back then in 2016, we even had up to uh, 300 concurrent viewers, which is quite the achievement for a browser game on Twitch. We also introduced a wide range of belts and pants, so our cowgirls and cowboys would never have a sore butt after riding their horses again. Uh, one of the main things we worked on during my time on West were tools, uh, internal tools for ourselves to allow us to more easily create quest lines and items uh, and, and bring high quality content to you guys. On the admin tools we always needed logs of the player, what the player was doing, like what actions were they performing. So then later when they had you know, complaints about an item missing or something like that, we can easily track it down if, if they really did all the actions required or if they missed one step somewhere on the road. That was one part that was very important. Another part that was super important for the West because it's quest heavy. We really needed a quest tool where we had a great overview of what quests are available, what requirements are there for certain quests. Before we, we, we deployed Westworlds together with, with the developers and as there was some transitional period then and we had a little bit less developing time and de developers here, uh, we decided, okay, let's not deploy the worlds all manually, but we then wrote a full automation uh, for it and made it possible to deploy a world in, let's say, one to two minutes and prepare everything for the players so we, we were now faster and more agile than before. So once we did a cooperation with one of the most popular German soap operas. It's called Gute Zeiten, Schlechte Zeiten. And we invited three of the main actresses to play a role in the West, and we did a whole quest line out of that. So what we did was, they dressed up as cowgirls in the West clothes, we put them in front of our saloon in the game on a big screen, and they were acting and talking a story that we then used in the game as a quest line. And unfortunately, we were only allowed to use the videos in the German version of the West, but they were there. The international event server is the one of the biggest thing uh, I did uh, with our other committee managers and in this server we will have more uh, events like dual championship when players around the world can face with each other against other players. The most interesting game feature I worked on was the redesign of the city hall. That was the point where I really for myself realized that the best is I don't know, like traveling in time almost because we ditched the old looking tables and it was cool and shiny and new and it really felt like, you know, it's being 
transporting into the modern age. The most important milestone being the release of West 2.0 in 2012, with its beautiful handcrafted full screen map. In the West, the map is the basis of the whole game. You do your jobs on the map, you have uh, quest givers on the map, all players are on the map, the towns, the forests, everything is on the map. And we thought that base feature has to be perfect in the game. So we said, let's not only increase the performance of the map, but also the visual style of it. It has to be beautiful. And we had two options how we could do that. One was, okay, we create new graphics for it. We write some system that randomly puts them on the map or patterns that repeat on the map. Or we built a map editor and put together a map by hand. And we figured out that's a lot of effort, but we wanted to go for the best solution. So we hired, I think, 10 people, players, colleagues, friends. We built a map editor, we built a lot of new elements, rocks, mountains, clouds, rivers, trees, everything you see on the map. And every single element you see is actually put on the map by hand. And it worked out in the end. The map is still as we built it back then, and I haven't seen anything like that in any other browser game. I know that in the West, praying is always a bit of a, of a sensitive topic. Um, and people always want to know what praying does. And I'm actually still one of the people who wants to know what praying does, because I have no idea. <laughs> the best thing about working on the West was the team, actually. Together as a team, we achieved a lot. Um, for example, we created a brand new event like the pumpkin hunt. And the ideas came from the loveliest team in the world. We were like a virtual family and this was just awesome. In 2016, we created a team calendar that nobody outside of the uh, in-house team has ever seen and actually brought it. And uh, everybody had to take a picture. So in this example, you can see Steffi, our game designer at the time. And uh, yeah, everybody had to do pictures and like uh, team pictures with everybody. And we printed it and gave it to every team member and former team members and uh, yeah, that's still have it hanging on my wall and I'm waiting for 2023 when it becomes uh, valid again. It was really cool to see just how many of the community managers are also hardcore West players and how, how deep they are into the game and how deep their game knowledge goes. It was really cool to see the combination of community manager and hardcore player in the same person. One of the cooler projects we did during my time in the West was a community event. We did a questline contest, so people could actually suggest their own questlines. The biggest achievement I had together with the whole The West team during my seven years on the project was being close to the community. So from a, when I started as a volunteer on the game until when I was a product manager, important was always that all the information from the community reaches the whole team and the other way around. So whatever we plan to do goes back to the community. The influence of the community to the game The West was very strong. One of the first features we added directly after launch was adding an overview for the world map because otherwise it was very hard for the players to see where they are in the world. This was one of the player uh, wishes. I think that on the West the community is the biggest driver, um, especially now. Um, we have a lot of, even when I was on the project in th 2016, we had a lot of ideas coming from players and um, it, it is a role-playing game so you can go in any direction you want with your character you can make a story for your character we had people who did that really really nicely the community has a huge influence i think uh, we all uh, the complete team read the forums they asked players about direct uh, feedback ab about the game and we are always tried to build this game together with the community and if you look at the West now with a smaller team, it's still super important to be in close contact to the community. And all the community managers have additional jobs, they work on quality insurance, they create content for the game, and all that is only possible because we are in such close contact to the players and because of our history working with the players. We have a very committed community, um, not only in Poland but around the world. Um, what we do in Poland is we invite our players to join our annual meeting in August and we uh, get regular uh, visits from our The West players who really enjoy uh, sharing their passion. One of the main factors why so many players love this game over here is the part of multiplayer. You really can get some real friendship through the West and in the end I think 
it's not the game, it's more the community which keeps this game alive for such a long time and the friendships in the game and not that they want to compete against each other t uh, today, it's more they want to play with somebody and want to chat and want to communicate with other players and for that I think the West is a great platform. Hey, come closer. I'm sharing with you now the best kept secret of the West. What does praying actually do? So, when you pray... Wow, 10 years, that's a long time. Thanks so much for sticking around. The West is not just a game, it's an adventure. Thank you to all of you. You and every single one of you made the West successful. I want to say thank you to, the, uh, to our community for playing this game. I would like to thank the players. Thank you to all our players for their love and support for the West over the last 10 years. And I wish you a lot of fun in the coming ones. You are playing the West for 10 years now and this is amazing. All I can say is keep on playing. You help us to develop the game, you give us ideas, you inspire us. Thank you and all the best for the next 10 years. Thank you to all of you who played the West, who still play the West. I hope you keep up playing because it's a very nice game. Ten years is a really long time and that's, it's very special for a game to, to reach that stage. It's your passion and, and interest in West that has kept it going for so long and will keep it going for many years to come. Don't forget, check the forum and find a little surprise. I'm proud that we build a game that you enjoy for so many years, um, that you give us regularly feedback, and which allows us to continuously improve the game we are really committed to give you new content, new features in the game and yeah, run the West for many, many years to come.